draw your car on the full size drawing. Remember to keep it at least two blocks thick. I'm using a marker so you can see better. Uh, if you want to do that, you can, but I recommend using a pencil so you can erase mistakes. Separate your top and side drawings. Put your top design in a safe place. Put your name on it and store it. I would recommend a folder as they normally get stolen from lockers when students lose them. Cut out your side design along the pattern you drew. Lay your side design drawing on the block of wood. Use a glue stick to add glue. Putting your design on the block of wood prevents glue from getting on the desktops. Glue your pattern to the block of wood. Try to align the back of the pattern up with the back of the piece of wood and any straight areas up with the straight edges on the top and bottom of the wood. Make sure to push the edges down tightly to avoid the pattern lifting up while you are cutting. Avoid gluing your design over a knot hole. That's the area where a tree branch grows and it's a very weak part of the wood. It will be removed or pop out later when you try cutting out your design. Your car will break if you put the design over a knot hole. Only draw one half of your top design. This is important to keep your design the same width on both sides. In the second, we're going to fold along the long dashed line and cut the half you drew. That will cut the other side to be the same width and keep your top design symmetrical. The top design will fit later when we build up the back of your car to make it wide enough for a CO2 cartridge.